Hello boys and girls. Today I want to talk a little bit about aircraft windows. I'm um, not talking about the windshield, I'm talking about the side uh, windows on the side of the aircraft. Um, what they do, their function, their design, their build, and the function of that little weep hole, that little vent hole, which I showed them my flight test video. I had a view of those uh, all frozen. We'll get to what those are for, what their function is in a minute. The function of the windows in general is obviously to give you a window to the outside of the aircraft, to give you a low a view from inside the plane to the outside for the passengers to be able to look outside. In cargo aircrafts, you don't have such a thing because there's nobody to look out the window. So you have a solid metal tube, there's no windows. Um, now the, the, the window has several functions other than just to look through it. And they have to seal the aircraft to prevent the outside elements from coming into the aircraft cabin, meaning rain, snow, ice, as well as sealing the cabin to not allow uh, air to leak outside of the cabin. Meaning when you, when you pressurize the cabin, those windows have to be sealed to keep the cabin pressurized, to not allow any uh, air to leak past the windows. Um, and if you see those, those, those rings of dome nuts, blind nuts, uh, all around it, that's what attaches the window plexiglass panes to the aluminum skin, the outside structure of the aircraft. Um, in a second we're going to go outside, we're going to walk outside and I'll show you that view from the outside. But these nuts, these dome nuts, are sealed all around, all around the window to make sure that there's no leakage of air escaping the cabin and there's nothing coming from the outside in. Now the, the build of these particular uh, windows, these are made of two layers of plexiglass with an air gap in between. The rest of the aircraft is pretty well insulated. You can see how thick that insulation is from the uh, aircraft skin to the inside of the aircraft. That's a pretty thick layer of insulation to keep you nice and toasty and warm inside the plane because up at altitude it gets uh, below freezing, well below freezing. Uh, so the rest of the aircraft structure is well insulated but obviously you cannot have an insulation bag in front of the window because you, you would not be able to see through it. So as an insulation uh, measure these particular windows are made up of two layers. One layer that is exposed to the elements on the outside and one layer with an air gap in between and then there's a second layer on the inside. If you seal both layers all the way around you have effectively created a bag or, or a balloon with changes of cabin pressure that balloon, those two layers would inflate and deflate every time there's a change of pressure outside of that window assembly. To prevent that from happening because eventually so many cycles you're going to start to get cracks and crack the seals and break the seals and they leak and whatever. So to prevent those uh, drastic changes in size due to the difference in pressure, the air gap in between the, the both layers is vented. Vented not to the outside, it's vented to the inside. It's vented to the inside of the aircraft, it's vented into the cabin. And that is the point of that little vent hole, that little weep hole. That little hole is venting the inside plexiglass um, through that hole to allow cabin air to vent in, to, to allow this changes in pressure for the air to go in and out of the window as necessary. As a result, when you're up at altitude, the outside window that's exposed to the elements, that's exposed to the freezing temperature, that outside window gets below freezing. And if you have air from the cabin, moist, warm, moist air from the cabin, 
going in through that little hole, the moisture from the air, when it contacts the outside pane of the window, it freezes. It freezes right on contact. And that's why, if you look at my flight test video, you're gonna see the condensation around the hole freezing as soon as it touches the outside. Not the outside of the window, but the inside of the outside layer. I'll put in a clip over here now so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, uh, now we're gonna go take a look at the outside of the window. So you can see what the, the screws that come into these donuts and the metal seal, metal ring on the outside that clamps the window into the uh, aircraft structure. Now take a look at this, uh, pardon the noise, this, this is an, an active working shop. But if you look at this now, this metal ring all those screws and the sealant. See how everything is sealed all around. And going down all the sides of the side of the airplane. That is what holds the window and it clamps it onto the outside into the skin, metal skin of the aircraft. Now we're back inside of the aircraft and normally this is not a view that you would see as a passenger. Uh, this aircraft is in maintenance, so all of the finishings and the actual window shade assembly is, that would normally be here is not here now. That's why we can see the structure of the window. Normally, there would be a window shade assembly similar to this that puts more distance. You know, this is the shade that you can close up and down. Uh, that puts more distance and more layers of plexiglass between the passenger and the aircraft window. That, prevent, that, that prevents damage to the aircraft window as well as adding more layers of insulation because that pretty much brings that window shade to the same layer, to the same level of insulation as the rest of the aircraft. But let's see if we can look in through here. If you look inside of there, you can see the donuts down in there. And that, this here is the housing, part of the housing for this window shade. So you can see what, how much, how far it puts you, the passenger, from the aircraft outside window. That adds more insulation and protects the, uh, the aircraft window. This is a, a wear item. You can scratch this and it's easily replaced. A lot cheaper than replacing the aircraft window on the outside. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to try to show you another view of the window shades already installed. Just so you can see more of a finished product of what it's supposed to look like once the window shade is in. But, um, I just, I just wanted to show you a view of the aircraft windows. A view that, unless the aircraft is in maintenance, you wouldn't normally see. All right, see you guys. Take care. Bye. Tomorrow has come. Uh, now the window shades are in. And I wanted to show you. Yesterday we had this view of the window shades not installed. We had a view of the aircraft structure. Now today we have the window shades installed. In this particular case, these are electric window shades which require a button to bring it up and down. Here's the shade material that would come down and close off the window. But mainly what I wanted to show you is the housing right here. 
You can see the housing that makes up the window shade assembly and the additional layer, additional plexiglass layer that separates you, the passenger, from the aircraft window on the outside. Yesterday you had a view of all the insulation inside of here and now it's blocked off by the window shade. So in total you have now three layers of of plastic, of plexiglass separating you from the elements on the outside. There you go, and that, that, that finishes the, uh, the topic, at least for now, from me, of uh, aircraft windows. Alright, I hope you found it cool, interesting. Um, if you have any other questions, let me know. I'll try to answer them. Thank you guys, take care.